episode of Alex's Toy Show with, with Feisty Pants. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show. It's the hot stove, number 15. Uh, we're winding down the spring training, and we got some more updates for you here. I'm just going to jump right into it because, uh, you know, it's what we're here for. Uh, the Minnesota Twins agreed a contract with third baseman Trevor Plough for a one year contract $7.25 million to avoid arbitration. Colorado Rockies agree with outfielder Charlie Blackman on a one year $3.5 million deal. Uh, the Milwaukee Brewers signed left-handed pitcher Chris Capuano out of the New York Yankees system. You know, Chris Capuano, I got to tell you, he, the Yankees let him go three times and brought him back twice um, over the 2015 season. And all he did was perform well. He wasn't great, but he got in there and he did the job. And uh, I'm glad he found a home here. Uh, left-handed pitcher is Chris Capuano and Cesar Jimenez to a... Minor league contract uh, with invites to spring training. He the Texas Rangers agreed to a contract with right-handed pitcher Sean Tollison. I wonder if he's related to Wayne Tollison. Wayne Tollison was a uh, shortstop for the Yankees uh, over the late 80s. I'm going to say late 80s, early 90s. Um, played a couple years. The L.A. Dodgers invite 17 players to spring training, including left-handed pitcher Julio Uris. U-R-A-S, Uris. He's the number four prospect on MLB.com. And right-handed pitcher Jose De Leon, who is number 23 on the uh, MLB.com. Philadelphia Phillies signed outfielder David Lowe, L-O-U-G-H. -O I, hate, I hate butchering names. I, you know, I should know this stuff. <laughs> uh, they signed him to a minor league contract with invite to spring training. The Angels, LA Angels, uh, claim infielder Ronald Torres off waivers from the New York Yankees and designate left-handed pitcher Bobby Laframbase. Lafram Laframbase. <laughs> Let's go with that for assignment. Cleveland Indians signed right-handed pitcher Josh Tanlin for a two-year extension with an option for 2018. Tomlin was uh, seven and two with a 302 ERA in ten starts following shoulder surgery he had last March. Not bad. Not bad. The Mets announced a one-year deal with uh, first baseman Lucas Duda and right-handed pitcher Henry Mahia, uh, both to avoid arbitration. White Sox, Chicago White Sox, signed nine players. What to minor to minor league contracts with invites to spring training, including catcher Hector Sanchez and infielder Steve Lombardozzi and Andy Perino. I'm pretty sure there was a Steve Lombardozzi that played in the 80s, early early to mid 80s. Steve Lombardozzi. Somebody Google that. <laughs> Post it in the comments below. The Houston Astros signed left-handed pitcher Wandy Rodriguez, left-handed pitcher Edouard Cabrera, and infielder Donnie Worth. Danny Worth. Danny Worth? Danny Worth to minor league contracts with invites to spring training. The Baltimore Orioles acquire outfielder Efren Navarro from the Angels for cash and designate outfielder LJ Hose for assignment. The San Francisco Giants invite 21 players to spring training including left-handed pitcher Ricky Romero, right-handed pitcher Vin Mazzaro, catcher George Cateris, in infielders Kyle Blanks, Hakuli, and Ramiro Pena. Ramiro Pena played for the Yankees a couple of years ago. The Colorado Rockies trade outfielder Corey Dickerson and third base minor leaguer, third base minor leaguer Kevin pa Padlo to the Rays, Tampa Bay Rays, for left-handed pitcher Jake McGee and minor leaguer right-handed pitcher German Marquez. That was a big deal over the weekend, apparently. Uh, the Colorado Rockies also designate left-handed pitcher Christian Friedreich for assignment. The Houston Astros sign right-handed pitcher, this is big news, Doug Fister to a one-year $7 million contract with $5 million more in incentives. He was 5-7 and seven with a 419 ERA with the Nationals in 25 appearances last year. I think he went both back and forth with uh, starting and relieving. Doug Fister ain't too shabby, you know what I'm saying? If you put him on the right team, I think the Nationals was was like a bad environment. Um, yeah, I mean, just everybody saw what happened between Papelbon and Bryce Harper, and and like nothing gets done about it. So everybody wants to leave there. There was like eight players they went after this year, 
in the uh, off season, and each of those players went to other teams, some for less money. I think that says something. I think it says something about the Nationals. Somebody needs to do something. Do something! People are pissed! Uh, the Yankees agreed with right handed uh, right handed pitcher Ivan Nova to a um, one year contract to avoid arbitration. Nova was six and eleven with a five oh seven ERA in seventeen game starts. Uh, you know, the Yankees had some ups and downs last year and Nova was coming off of uh, the DL at the beginning of the year and I, I don't think he had his stuff, you know. Uh, I think he needed to rehab a little bit more. I'm looking to see him now in the off season. In spring training, he's going to be fierce like he was about a year ago. Uh, San Diego Padres, they trade outfielder Reimer Liriano to Milwaukee Brewers for left-handed pitcher Trevor Seidenberger. The Rays sign first base and outfielder Steve Pierce to a one-year deal. And the L.A. Dodgers agree to terms with second baseman Howie Kendrick on two years, $20 million contract. He batted two, not 295 with nine home runs and 54 RBIs over 117 games with the Dodgers last year. It's pretty good. I'm <laughs> just saying, he's pretty good. Uh, the Kansas City Royals signed right-handed pitcher Ian Kennedy. Get this, to a five-year contract, $70 million. He was 9-15 and 15 last year with a 428 ERA in 30 starts with the Padres. Now, the Padres were a, um, I don't want to say they were a crap team, but they had their challenges, just as the Yankees did. And um, I, I, th I think a win-loss record really doesn't speak the truth of a pitcher. You know, here he is, 9-15. and 15. Now, he had nine wins, but those 15 losses, I mean, was it because the Padres can't hit, can't score runs? And, you know, I mean, if Kennedy gives up two runs, four runs, and... Uh, you know, the Padres can only score one or two to come back, and then they lose. Happened to the Yankees all year last year, you know? Uh, da, 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 da. So, while it is a huge contract, um, what, what Ian Kennedy is going to do is he's going to go into the Royals organization, who can perform, as you can see, and I think his flaws are going to be um, covered. Uh, so, he'll probably have a fantastic year. Um... He can also opt out after the 2017 season. So maybe he plays two years with Kansas City and, you know, they take it or leave it. Uh, they also, Kansas City Royals, they also designate right-handed pitcher Lewis Coleman for Simon. Uh, the Cubs invite 18 players to spring training. No, but nobody's inviting me to spring training. Includes uh, number 89 on MLB.com's hot prospect list, outfielder Albert Almora. And they also invite uh, infielder Muninori Kawasaki, right-handed pitcher Gene Machi, and catcher Tom Feder Federowitz. I'm butchering these names. I apologize in advance. The Mets agree to a two-year contract with second baseman Neil Walker that they picked up earlier in December. Uh, they traded John Neese to the Pirates for Neil Walker. Uh, one year, ten and a half million dollars to avoid arbitration. The Boston Red Sox. Uh, Boston agrees to a contract with left-handed pitcher Robbie Ross. Texas Rangers agreed with left-handed pitcher Jake Diekman on a one-year contract to avoid arbitration, and right-handed pitcher Steve Johnson on a minor league contract with an invite to spring training. The Toronto Blue Jays agree to terms with uh, infielder Macier Isturis on a minor league deal with invite to spring training. And um, just over the weekend, the Arizona Diamondbacks acquire, there's a five-player trade here, infielder Aaron Hill, right-handed right -hand, right pitcher Chase Anderson, infielder Isan Diaz, and Cash for shortstop Gene Segura and right-handed pitcher Tyler Wagner. They're sending them to the Milwaukee Brewers. That is that, folks. All right, um, if you like this video, leave me a comment. We can subscribe for more. We got some key dates to go over here. February 1st through the 21st are the salary arbitration hearings. Thursday, February 18th, catchers and pitchers report to spring training. It's getting there, man. On the 23rd, everyone else reports to spring training. And then Sunday, April 3rd, opening night. Sunday, April 4th, opening day. Baseball season is upon us.